One shot challenge touring time. These are minis around Algarve. It should be should be a pretty pretty fun time. Um, I tend to like my gearing more towards the middle for Algarve. Very aggressive setup we have here. We'll see how it treats us as we get on with the program. It is time attack, so we can just get on with our own devices, and it's a long enough circuit that there should be plenty of space, hopefully. Assuming the AI doesn't mess up too many times, we should at least get two good clean laps in. The first corner is a little tricky in almost every car in this direction. A little early on my downshift and I tried to make up for that so went a little wide there got a little bit of understeer coming out nothing we couldn't handle though it's a deceptively tough turn going forwards I'm not that bad at it. Going backwards, I'm pretty poor at it still. That turn you more or less just take as one giant... Uh, as one giant turn and then the car really... hangs in there for you. Especially in that direction because you have the camber working for you at the start of it. So you can really push into the corner pretty hard and then let the corner itself drop some of the speed off for you. And this car can probably take that right-hander in fourth still. We'll have to try that next time around. Let's see if that is indeed the case. I'm still going to take these two corners in second. And I really got a poor exit there. That's a really crucial corner because you have this long straight. So it is going to compromise this lap a little bit. Nothing extraordinarily, it's a slow corner anyway, but it will compromise it a little bit. It's a tough corner sequence that I'm still not very good at. A little bit wide, but nothing too crazy there. And as I found out in the first lap, I can take that flat out. I have to try and get around this pink car. Preferably here. That was good. It did not really compromise our entry. I mean, it did a tiny bit, but it really wasn't that noticeable. Still missing that apex a little. It's not an apex you really hit going forwards either, though. You kind of go a tiny bit wide. So as you can see there, I kind of let the car sail off into the corner, and then the corner itself brings it back to me. That was a really good hairpin that time. Could have gone a little quicker through the center and exit, but still not bad. We will try fourth gear this time here, as I think this car has enough grip to make it work. It does. Still down to second for this sharp left-hander, though. Then I'm going to try something a little different here, around these two corners. I'm going to try slowing down a little more for this one, and then really cutting the apex off on that one. That felt like a good exit. I don't know if it's faster or not. But that feels pretty solid there. It's just a tough sequence, because normally you sacrifice the first corner for the second one. But you have three corners in quick succession there that all influence each other. Little touch. Nothing crazy. It really did, should not have impacted our sector much. Maybe a tenth, if at most. It's actually a positive influence. That is genuinely surprising. Although that could also be because of the way that we exited the last corner and got the start on this lap. Again, that didn't really influence our entry at all. We're just looking for our splits to see where we line up. In the 
grand scheme of things. Break a little earlier that time. Really try and throw it through the apex. That felt stronger. We'll see if it agrees. About the same. But that still keeps our tenth from that first sector going. Basically turned it into a tenth and a half advantage. I got about half a tenth on top of that. I feel like I can take the center of this corner faster than I did last time, which I can. The car was able to slide all the way out to the outside corner. Which indicates I definitely had speed to spend last time. Keep it in fourth as last time. Keep it tucked nice and tight for that corner. And we'll try and do something similar this time. But I'm going to sacrifice this corner a little bit more to really get through there and then really toss it back through. I feel like that was a pretty complete lap. I felt like I hit almost all of my apexes pretty spot on. And it was faster than the previous by quite a few tenths because we were in the 52s before. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with that last lap. That was good. Almost two seconds above Platinum. I'm, I'm happy with that. I would have liked a little less understeer from the front, so to accomplish that I probably would have softened the front another two clicks, down to plus 20. I believe it was plus 40, but all in all those cars are just fun. Not too shabby.